Hello party people! Hello, it's Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I am here today with an unboxing of the dollar bead box. This is for December. We are going to take a look at it. We're going to do a little unboxing video. I'm super excited. So, big shout out to Dollar Bead Box uh, for sending this over. If you want to get involved with them, you can visit www.dollarbeadbox.com and check out everything they have to offer on their website. I will also leave a link in the description of this video. Easy peasy. So, before we get into it, let me cut the tape on this box. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you hear some commotion going on, we are here in the Thunder Horse Descendant Studio doing work. Mostly Shannon is doing work and I am playing with beads, but you know, that's how it is. <laughs> so, let's pop into this, see what we got. Alright, here we are on my mat. So again, if you want to visit dollarbeadbox.com, go ahead and check, 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 check it out. We're going to give her an open and then we're going to go through all of the items and see what we got. So we did get the bead bag, it looks like this December. So this is a separate purchase from the box that you can opt in for. So we'll take a look at that. They give you a little description of what's going on and then we have our items. Oh. They did not come in a little baggie, so I'm just going to give that to Bunsen. And I don't want to see, so I'm just going to put them there for right now. Because we're going to deal with this bag first. So let's zoom in. And let's take a look at the bag. Ooh, it's a red. <laughs> it's a red. Now I have had this box for about a week or so, um, so it does come pretty early on. I just haven't gotten there quite yet. But here is the bead strands. Now in here it says we have three millimeter strands in crystal volcano, opaque red, jet, half uh, crystal half gold. So these are our three millimeters. So that is these guys here. Uh -huh. this is a three millimeter as well. Very cute for the Christmas season. I like the colors, obviously they're very cute. And then matching strands pretty much in the four millimeters. We have crystal A B opaque red. Opaque opaque red. Must be this one. Ruby, this one, and then matte pearlized ruby red, this one. And so there we go. Very cute. They all go together, especially if you got projects where it requires you to have two different size beads. Um, I have been getting more into like the bead weaving and such. I got a couple of books, so I'm trying. I'm trying to use all the things, but here we are. These are beautiful. I love them. It says, uh, dollar bead bag subscribers can reorder December items through January 2023. So there you go. Uh, so these are Check Fire Polish. And that is our little bead bag. So I'm going to pack these up and we're going to move into the box. I have found that I, I really like red. I never used to like red. And now I'm getting a little more into red these days. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> Just don't know. Okay, on to these guys here. Fun for Mr. Bunsen. And here's our December doings. As 2022 comes to a close, we wish all of you a very happy new year. May 2023 be a year of joy for you and your family and throughout the, the world. As you plan your new bead designs and projects for the upcoming year, please be sure to take a look at our new listings. This month, we're featuring new Howlite bead sizes and styles, a variety of vintage check glass buttons, and new twisted beehive bee co bi cones. Sorry. Keep up with the latest dollar bead club news. Here's all their information. 
their handles, their Facebook group, their Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and also their uh, contact us information. And then we flip. So I did, I guess I didn't really give a theme for December. It just says happy, happy December. Uh, so here we go. We're going to take a look at it. We got some bead strands. Those are cute. Fire polish. What are these? Little something or others. Let me get these little baggies of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a little tree. That's cute. Spacers. Oh, this is cute. Little rose. Or, well, maybe it's not a rose. It looks like a rose. Okay. So, let's take a closer look at these items. Starting with the strands. A 4 millimeter check glass droop in Siam. So, that's got to be these guys. They told me, I've been learning things. They told me, they, the Thunder Horse descendants, that droops are round. <laughs> so it's like, oh, so here's these guys. Eight millimeter check glass hearts. These are cute. These would be cute for if you're prepping for Valentine's Day. Some little hearts. Six millimeter fire polish matte silver. These guys. Little matte silver doings. Then we have the pyramids. Now the pyramids look interesting. I do like these. I think they're interesting looking. You can make some cute little designs with those. You could stack them together, do something cute with those. Interesting. I love an odd shaped bead. Then we have uh, fancy rectangles. That's these guys here, which I have used these uh, out of the boxes that they've sent. I've, I've used these type of beads quite a few times. This has a little different uh, pattern on it, but I really do like these. I think they're very interesting and nice and they can really draw some attention, so cool. And then lastly, we have a 7x13 millimeter check glass fancy. Oh no, I just said that. What's this one? Uh, but I think I got extra one. I got an extra one. Yay me! <laughs> Got some gold. Some silver and some gold. Those are the strands. So there they are. They're going to go perfectly with our bag of the little what came in the little bag. So that's good. Then we have 19, 9 by 17mm check glass two hole carrier bead in vintage matte vintage bronze. So that's got to be these guys here. In the matte vintage bronze carrier beads. Oh. So there's those. They go pretty good with these. That's kind of cute. Maybe a little bracelet. A five millimeter pewter daisy spacer. I love a daisy spacer. Got those. Um, eight millimeter check glass fire polish in jet. There we go. Some black fire polish, eight millimeter, a little larger, very cute. Got all of that. This will go good with pretty much anything. 22 by 27 millimeter pewter tree of life charm in antique silver. I was really interested in this when I opened up the box. It's very cute. Oh, it's double sided. I quite enjoy that. It's not completely round. It's more of an oval, so that's fun. It's not super heavy. Um, 
but it is double sided and it looks to have some details to it so I really like that very cute I dig it uh, check glass oval in jet 9 by 13 that's got to be these guys here At least say jet, unless I'm in the wrong bag, which is totally possible. But I don't, I don't think so. I think this is, I think this is right. But these, they say jet, but I can see a little white striping on them. I don't know if these are actually stone. It's, that's questionable. Put those to the side. Not sure if I'm reading the right thing on that. Tear cast succulent charm. So that was this guy. This guy's very cute. It's tear cast. It is feels heavy, feels substantial, like it is of good quality. Very cute. Sixteen millimeter check glass cathedral cut beads. That's these guys. I do love a cathedral bead. I think they're very nice. They kind of have the top and the bottom, and they just give them a little more definition. These look to be almost like a bluish clear with a silver top. Um, does it say the color? It just says anti. Uh, no, it says matte crystal with silver which makes sense because that's what they are. <laughs> so I like those. Very black and white and silver. Everything's going together. Then we have a check glass tubular drop in Siam Opal, which I believe is these guys here. Tubular drop. That's words that are interesting. Um, <laughs> the tubular drop. So I guess that's this. Um, yeah. Ooh, I got lipstick on my hand. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. You know, so those can make you make a little pair of earrings or something with those. They're not, the color is not really my favorite. It's more of an orange, uh, which is odd because orange is my favorite, but it's like not orange. It's like pinkish, reddish orange. It's a whole thing. Um, let's go with 10 millimeter Chinese glass laser etched round. Whoa. Must be this guy. White with silver, two pieces. It's gotta be this guy. White with silver. This are a 10 millimeter. And I do really like these. I think these are fun. Very fun. I would definitely use them. Um, next up we have an 8mm check glass flower in cyan. That is this guy. Now these could be fun for layering or something. These could be definitely a fun situation. You could maybe layer in these little these guys like that's kind of interesting I do like these they're very interesting I think I would try to layer them up and make some cute little I don't know flower designs but there's those Then we have check glass bumblebee 17 by 22. That's got to be this guy here. White and gold. So this this says check glass gold on it. Check glass. No, I'm sorry. Check glass bumblebee, white and gold. He is very cute. I like him a lot. It just feels a little more lightweight than I, 
I feel like it should like so much so where I was like is this glass but it is glass uh, it's just very lightweight but it's very cool it's got the cute little B on there it is double sided so it's very interesting it kind of gives like a little ethnic pattern which I like that more of like a kind of a, a not so detailed like a pr like a primitive so that's cool I would definitely use that in my stuff and then it says uh, 11 bonus items 11 by 17 millimeter check glass metallic mix in matte vintage bronze um, so that's these now we did take a look at some of these last month in the last box and they the, the paint was kind of flaky. Let's check these ones. These ones seem to be better. These ones are better. They're not, the paint isn't flaking off like in the last one. I'm really trying to get in there with my fingernail and no, it seems these are fine. So these to me would be a usable situation. So we like that. I think I got lots of extra things in my box. That's the end of the list. <laughs> I don't know where I went wrong. Um, let, me, let me just double check. Tear cast, cathedral cut, etched round flowers. Yeah. No, I got lots of extra things in my box. So I got some Christmas trees. Merry Christmas to me, I guess. I got some Christmas trees that are super cute. Those, are those not the cutest thing? Little Christmas trees. And then I got another one of these cabochons in a different color. I can't remember what they were calling these, but they kind of have all this business in there. And I also had gotten this extra string, string of beads. So, all I would say it's a win. <laughs> I would say it's a win. And then uh, all of our fire polish over here as well to match all this business. I mean, at the end of the day, the colors are basically silver, gold, and red, and black, which is great because you could go either way you could go both ways you could go all the ways whatever you want to do and I really like these um, these guys all these little guys right here I could totally do something with I got a little, few little Christmas trees sprinkle those in yeah I mean these are all pretty neutral uh, with little pops which is great I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but you know these guys here I probably, I mean, if these are going to be good, I could probably use those too. I could have done without these, you know, they're a little off red. These are like flowers for Christmas, you know, whatever. Uh, and this guy, I just am not sure what I want to do with him. But the rest of this, especially these guys here, very cool. So that's what we got going on for December. And here is... Uh, the beadbox website dollarbeadbox.com if you want to get involved i hope you're all having a wonderful spectacular amazing beading day and i will see you in the next one bye guys yeah i think that should be enough okay maybe even this little flower. look how cute that is Okay, so I think it, I'm thinking this is what we're going to use for our project. So I'm going to clear the mat.